WeatherMax forecast with meteorologist Caitlin Moffin. And switching gears now to weather, temperatures this morning are starting off again on a chilly side. Canal Park is actually one of the warmest spots we have in terms of your air temperature. We're at 36 degrees, but notice that wind northwest about 10 miles per hour, making that wind chill feel like 28 degrees uh, when you have to step outside. Now, in terms of temperatures region wide, I mentioned it is our warmest spot on the map. We've got teens for everyone to the west. Grand Rapids at 24, Bemidji 19, Aiken at 19 as well. 25 though from the Hill and Hermantown. So we know that difference comes into play a lot. It's only a couple of miles in terms of difference, but Hermantown versus Canal in terms of air temp is a good 10 degrees difference. 27 in Solon Springs and 25 up to the north in Grand Marais. I mentioned though, where we've got those cooler temperatures for those that are dipped down to the teens, we're also seeing no wind. So that comes into play when you take a look at where the wind direction and speed is with what your air temperature is showing. In Canal Park, we're at 36 degrees because we still have that steady wind at 8 miles per hour where nobody else is really seeing that strong of a wind on the map. Looking at the Doppler and satellite, we are watching this system making its way a little bit closer and closer. Every time I show this, it has inched a little bit closer to International Falls, and that is indeed snow on the Doppler and satellite. It's a little bit, it's not heavy, it's going to be light. We're going to see flurries throughout the course of this day as the system continues to kind of sit a little bit further south. We're going to continue to see north winds, which push in that colder air aloft, and that will provide cloud cover for the most part of the day. And then we're also going to see flurry action kind of across northern Minnesota. It's not going to be a whole lot, so don't get too excited when you see it. If you are looking forward to some snow, and I'm sure in some due time, We've seen plenty of that, but the South Shore is going to be experiencing lake effect snow showers. Now, we've got that wind moving right across Lake Superior in the snow belt region from Bayfield Peninsula east towards the Gogebic County is where we typically see that snow belt region set up, and that's going to continue through the course of the day today with off and on rain snow mix. Little to no accumulation, and if any accumulates, it's going to be on that grassy surface which is cooler than your hard cement surfaces like sidewalks and roads. That'll continue into the late evening hours. Notice that green kind of indicating the rain continuing to kind of diminish into Saturday morning. And then we start off in a frosty start. Temperatures are going to be on the chilly side. We will see some afternoon sunshine. It should be a nice Saturday but on the cold side. So just wear a sweater, grab a jacket, and head out and enjoy the sunshine. 45 for us here in Canal Park, 43 in Grand Rapids, and 40s across our northern counties. Northwest Wisconsin's also seeing mid-40s for high temperatures. And then tonight we drop back into the 30s and 20s. Almost everybody will be below freezing into Saturday morning. So if you've got early plans, Saturday morning, It'll feel just like it did this morning. You're going to want to start the cars. Now. This is now the time of the year where you're going to want to start those cars up a little bit sooner because there is going to be some frost on those windshields. Uh, it's time. Uh, I know. I'm not sure if I'm ready. And now that I'm seeing snow on the radar, it's... it's, it's I'm it's, kind of excited for the first <laughs> snow. It's then just the knowledge that it's snow for yes, like Yes, we, we have to get through that first snowstorm because mm -hmm. I feel like that's the first one everyone's just like, okay, right. fine. And everybody seems like they forget how to drive. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the first snow. That too. <laughs> Thanks, Caitlin. You bet. In consumer news, stocks were mixed.